In this video, we are going to talk about best 7 to 65 inches cinch TVs. The best 65 inch 4K TVs for 2021 are excellent options for anyone looking to upgrade their home cinema setup significantly. Average TV sizes are increasing year after year, and while 55 inch TVs are currently the most common, 65 inch TVs are the most impactful. It's not only because of the larger screen size, premium TVs often start at 65 inches for their smallest model, and instead of wasting money on small TVs that won't be able to show off the latest TV technology to its full potential, they bundle the best features together. To get the best specs, it's only natural that you'd need one of the best 65-inch TVs on the market. Whether it's an OLED screen, smooth motion processing, or the brightness and backlight required to make colors look vibrant, the best 65-inch TVs will outperform simple small TVs, and will sometimes make excellent gaming TVs as well. Don't even consider a 55-inch 8K TV, as 8K resolution is only truly worthwhile at 65 inches and larger. Of course, there are some limitations. A larger TV usually comes at a higher price, so make sure you have the cash as well as the room in your home to accommodate it. There's nothing worse than unpacking a 65-inch TV just to discover it won't fit on your media unit or TV stand. Here's a list of the best 7 to 65 inches cinch TVs. Let's start. Number 7. Sony X900H The Sony X900H, also known as the X90CH at Costco, is a fantastic 4K television that can handle almost any form of material. It has a VA panel with a high contrast ratio and full array local dimming, which improves blacks in low-light situations. It's ideal for bright rooms because it handles reflections well and gets bright enough to eliminate glare. Its quick response time and optional black frame insertion feature allow it to view fast-moving scenes with minimal blur. Gamers can appreciate the low input lag, which continues to be low even when playing in 4K with 10-bit HDR. The advertised variable refresh rate VRR, support is currently unavailable. Furthermore, due to its small viewing angles, photographs seem washed out when viewed from the side. The Sony X900H is an excellent TV for a variety of applications. Its picture quality is outstanding, thanks to its high peak brightness, excellent contrast ratio, and large color gamut. HDR material is also pleasing to the eye, with vibrant colors and highlights for the most part. While VRR support is currently unavailable, gamers should appreciate its quick response time and low input lag. Unfortunately, because of the small viewing angles that make the picture appear washed out from the side, it's not ideal for watching with larger audiences. Number 6. TCL R635 The TCL 6 Series Roku TV, R635, is the 2020 edition of TCL's excellent 6 Series model line, which has consistently been one of the best value TVs on the market. This is easily one of the best TVs of 2020, according to our testing. TCL has packed more premium features into this mid-range TV than ever before, including quantum dot enhancement and mini-LED backlighting on the monitor, as well as their best video processor to date. The TV has one of the best Roku TV implementations available, as well as voice search with a microphone built right into the remote for easy use. The number of mini-LED backlights is the only major difference between these models. There are 128 backlighting zones in the 55-inch model we tested, each made up of hundreds of mini-LED lights. Owing to the wider size of the displays, the 65 and 75-inch versions have up to 240 zones and 1,000 mini-LED lights. We're sure that our suggestions for the 55-inch model apply equally to the 65-inch and 75-inch models of the package because the variations between the screen sizes are so slight. Number 5. Samsung QN85A The Samsung QN85A QLED is part of Samsung's Neo QLED TV series, which uses mini-LED backlighting and is a step up from standard QLEDs. Since it's an ad screen, which is equivalent to an IPS panel, it has a poor native contrast ratio, but thanks to local dimming, it's greatly improved in most picture modes. However, the panel's glow and blooming can still be visible, particularly when viewed off-center. On the plus hand, it has a wide viewing angle, making it ideal for watching with friends or family. It also has a quick response time, which results in smooth movement, as well as a low input lag, which makes gaming feel more sensitive. It also has FreeSync variable refresh rate, 
VRR, an HDMI 2.1 port, and auto low latency mode, which should please gamers, ALLM. The TV gets really bright and has excellent reflection handling, so it'll work in any lighting situation and glare shouldn't be a problem. Despite its low native contrast, it has amazing HDR brightness, so it'll make HDR content's highlights pop. The Samsung QN85A is ideal for a variety of applications. Because of its high visibility and excellent reflection handling, it works exceptionally well in bright environments. Number 4. Vizio P-Series Quantum X. The Vizio P-Series Quantum X 2020 is a fantastic 4K TV with incredible picture quality. It has a VA panel with a high contrast ratio, which is boosted by a full array local dimming feature that allows it to create deep blacks. Its high peak brightness quickly combats glare and provides an outstanding HDR experience with vivid highlights. It has a quick response time and uses black frame insertion to produce consistent images in fast-moving scenes. Most gamers can appreciate its low input lag, and it supports variable refresh rate VRR, to minimize screen tearing. It has very narrow viewing angles, so it may not be the best option for large seating arrangements. Vizio doesn't have an app store, because even though its SmartCast interface is user-friendly, it doesn't have as many games as other platforms. For the most part, the Vizio P-Series Quantum X 2020 is excellent. It gets really bright and manages reflections well, making it an excellent option for daytime viewing of TV shows or sports. Number 3. Samsung Q80A. Overall, the Samsung Q80, Q80A QLED is a decent TV. It shares the same name as the Samsung Q80, Q80T QLED from 2020, but it works differently due to its ads panel. This panel works similarly to IPS panels in terms of viewing angles and contrast ratio. When viewed in the dark, blacks appear gray, and when combined with its mediocre local dimming feature, it's not the best option for dark room viewing or HDR content. Despite this, this TV is a good option for use in brightly lit areas because it quickly gets light enough to avoid glare and has good reflection handling. It includes many of the same gaming features as most Samsung TVs, such as HDMI 2.1 and FreeSync variable refresh rate VRR, support, as well as a fast response time and low input lag for a responsive gaming experience. Overall, the Samsung Q80 is a decent device. It's perfect for watching TV shows or sports because of its ads panel, which has large viewing angles and keeps the picture correct even when viewed from the side. Because of its fast response time, low input lag, and extra features like VRR support. Number 2. TCL 5 Series. The TCL 5 Series Roku TV 4K package is yet another example of the adage that TVs get better and cheaper every year. The 55-inch model we reviewed for our TCL 5 Series Roku TV review produced a strong, high-quality image and comes with Roku Smart TV apps. To increase the number of colors on the LCD panel, the TCL 5 Series employs a quantum dot layer. QLED, not to be confused with OLED, is how TCL and others refer to it. It also supports the HDR, High Dynamic Range, format for 4K content developed by Dolby Vision, as well as other standard HDR formats. The TCL 5 series also has full array adaptive local dimming to reduce backlight on one region of the screen while boosting another brighter area to increase contrast within scenes. TCL has changed the configuration of the 5 series compared to the previous year's edition. The screen's bezel, or border, is a little thinner, and the set is slimmer at its thinnest point. The top edge of the current TCL 5 series is about half an inch thick, last season's model was almost 1.5 inches thick at the edge. The 5 series comes with a plethora of connectivity options. There are four HDMI 2.1 ports on the back panel, one of which has the audio return channel, ARC, which is useful for a wired soundbar or AV receiver. Only passionate gamers would be frustrated by the fact that the HDMI ports only support 60Hz 4K. Number 1. LG CX. For the uninitiated, OLED or organic light-emitting diode displays, unlike traditional LCDs, do not need a separate backlight to illuminate the image. When the organic pixels are turned on, they emit their own light. This gives them a distinct benefit since each pixel can be switched on or off completely independently. There is no image blurring induced by the leaky backlights seen in LCD and quantum dot televisions. 
it results in a striking image that continues to draw attention. LG has enhanced this OLED by adding a new Alpha 9 Gen 3 processor and its AI Think program to improve video processing. One of its main tasks is to distinguish between various types of on-screen objects, such as faces and graphics. The LG CX OLED line is nearly identical across these four versions, with the same number of ports, 4K resolution and HDR support, and pixel-perfect self-illuminating OLED display. Unlike LCD televisions, which may have less backlighting zones on different screen sizes, LG's OLED technology provides consistent sharpness and halo-free contrast across all screen sizes. Thanks for watching.